Redmi Pro has a number of firsts for Xiaomi. It's their first handset to sport an OLED display and also their first device to have two rear cameras. But is it any good? Here's a review of the Xiaomi Redmi Pro. The device has a 5.5 inch OLED display packing in a full HD resolution and has a pixel density of 401 ppi. You find 5.5 inches to be a sweet spot for smartphones nowadays and the Redmi Pro has a satisfying visual treat. A physical home button that doubles as a swift fingerprint scanner sits below the display. It's a design language similar to the company's flagship, the Mi 5. The body of the device has an industrial look to it thanks to its metal body. Even the volume rocker and the power button on the right side is made from aluminum. Also, the hybrid card tray on the left has the same treatment. Gone are the days of the micro USB as a USB Type-C port replaces it at the bottom along with the loudspeaker. The 3.5mm headphone jack is positioned on top with the IR blaster, which is quite a common feature for Xiaomi. The back shows more of the industrial construction of the phone, which is a brushed metal panel. Our silver model makes the brush lines show under bright light. The dual camera setup is found here, with two shooters flanking their dual tone LED flash. It's a 13 megapixel accompanied by an 8 megapixel sensor. The camera software takes advantage of these by allowing the user to have options after taking the shot. You can either adjust the depth of field, apply effects, or even check out the image in a 3D preview. Shots taken by the main shooter are generally good with details and color balance that are impressive for a liking. Although with less light, things get murky. As for the video, it doesn't use the secondary sensor at the back as it sticks to recording your usual 1080p clip. Performance-wise, the Redmi Pro is powered by MediaTek Helio X20 Deck Core chipset clocked at 2.1GHz and paired with the Mali T880 MP4 graphics. It's got 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. The phone runs MIUI 7, which is based on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. It's heavily tweaked, but doesn't hinder in general performance. The one thing to point out about the operating system though, is the lack of Google services on board. You can choose to sideload if you know your way around it. Benchmarking shows a good score for the Redmi Pro with an Antutu score above 70k. As mentioned, the card tray of the Redmi Pro is hybrid. Thus, it supports either two nano SIM cards or opt for a micro SD card on the second slot for storage expansion up to 256GB. Lastly, a large 4050mAh battery fuels the device. With that cell size and the energy efficient OLED display we have, you'll get a full day of use with more to spare for the wee hours of the night. Here are the results of our battery test of the Redmi Pro. At the end of the day, any user of the Redmi Pro will not be disappointed about its features and nifty tricks under its sleeves. For 13,500 pesos, it's a steal. If only Xiaomi would release a global ROM as soon as possible, then it's definitely a phone to consider.